everyone, and welcome back to How Inez Rolls. Today I'm making a super easy dinner that can be all made in one pan. It's called Beef Burritos in a Skillet, and I need to get started. Before I get started, I want to thank everyone who is following me, who's visiting my channel, uh, for all the loving comments, the thumbs up. I'm at over 4,000 subs and I am thrilled. What a fun journey this has been and one that I know that I love sharing my recipes with you, but also I like looking for recipes and um, just trying different things online from online recipes but also just showing you a little bit about my life, what we've been doing as a family and my classroom too. This has been a back to school week, so the kids have been doing great. They loved going um, back to school with friends or trying new adventures because I had a homeschooler that went back to school this year and he's doing great. But I also wanted to show you what I um, have been doing in my classroom. Don't worry, that pan, that uh, the, the recipe that I'm doing today with the burritos and the pit and the, and the skillet is a super quick and easy recipe. But I wanted to show you a little bit about my classroom. I just finished my third day with meeting with brand new students who are coming to my class. And so this is it. This is what they've walked into. Um, they've gotten to see some new things, uh, I, how I've rearranged some stuff. And I'm super excited to get started, but we started in September. So we've had, oh, you can see me in the mirror. Uh, you can see that I have, everything is out and it's cleaned and the kids have just loved it. In fact, almost all of the kids have said, can I just stay here, mom or dad? It's been sweet. Plus I also had a parent meeting in which we had a parent night and it's been a, a very, very busy week with back to school and meet your teacher days, but that's why I'm just inspired to make a very quick and easy dinner. Let's go. This super easy recipe, you're gonna need your taco seasoning. So I make my own, and I'll link that video below or somewhere around here that you can get to, to this video or to the, get this recipe. Um, I love making it myself because then I know what's going into it. But if you're using packets, just get that packet ready. Also, you'll need tortillas, some salsa, and ground beef. So first off, I'm just gonna brown up some uh, ground beef. It, it calls for one pound, but I'm gonna double the recipe and hope we have leftovers tomorrow. But I have a feeling we're not. <laughs> but so anyways, I'm just gonna double the recipe. Now remember, I got these tubes from Costco. Best thing ever. So I'm just gonna, this meat didn't wanna come out. <laughs> so I have that ready. I'm just gonna brown this up add the taco seasonings and then we'll I'll show you what at, what that looks like as it's getting ready to have all the, the stuff in it. Actually while the meat is browning I'm just going to prep some of these tortillas if I can cut through them goodness and I'm also going to prep some like lettuce and tomatoes just stuff that I would put in um, burritos anyways so they're just supposed to be one inch cuts now these are the tortillas that I got from Costco and in the recipe it calls for four six inch ones so this might be a little bit bigger than six inch so that's why I just did uh, I kind of eyeballed it and I know my family too with the salsa that I'm going to add I'm not going to add too much but just enough so this is going to be ready it says to cut them in strips but I'm going to make them even a little bit smaller so I'm going to go get the the tomatoes ready, the cheese ready, and that's ready to go.
I'm just adding some of my taco seasoning to the meat right here. And then I'm gonna add uh, two cups of water and add some salsa. So this will be super good. And because I know my family, I'm only going to put in one cup of the chunky salsa. And, um, and then I'm gonna make up for it with uh, a little bit more water. So this is when you would also add in your beans, but my family doesn't all like beans, so I have mine on the side here. I made a crock pot a couple of days ago, so I'll have that on the side for me. I have my lettuce coming, but <laughs> I have my cheese ready to go. So what I'm gonna do next after this thickens up is I'm just gonna add in the tortillas that I've cut. And so everything's all in the pan. So it just makes it super easy and you get all the flavors in there and then we're gonna coat it with cheese and it's gonna be delicious. So now I'm just gonna add in the tortillas. So this is looking good, it's smelling good. And you know what, it's one of those easy, easy meals that when you know, you're tired from work or doing all the carpool or whatever, that you could just throw it all in one pot, one skillet, it's just so easy. And then all we're gonna do is just let, so it has to be a little bit soupier because those tortillas are gonna soak it all up. And then it's, it's kind of like a casserole of tastes. So we're gonna do that and put um, the cheese on top. You notice I haven't, put, I don't know if you can tell, but I haven't put all of my tortillas in. So I'm kind of putting them in, in, in stages because I don't wanna over do it and not have enough mixture for it. So it's gonna be good. And for my people out there, for my friends that love to eat beans, so good already in the mixture. I'm jealous because, you know, I love beans and I have to have it on the side. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm used to it now. <laughs> so I'm. these are almost done and I can't wait to eat just a little bit more. And then I'll show you up close what it looks like. Just adding the cheese now, so good. So I'm just, I've turned off the burners or I've unplugged it and I'm just gonna let that cheese melt. So I'll probably put the lid on and just wait until everybody gets home, which everybody's on their way. So this is gonna be delicious. Oh yes. Hey. Oh yes. That is looking delicious. So it's time to plate up and I'll, I'll show you what, what my family thinks about this meal. So what do you guys think? Uh, good. Hold on, give me one sec. Okay. What do you think, Jonas? There's too much pressure. Good? Yeah. Oh, good. There's mine with all those beans. Yum, yum, yum. How about now? I like it. Good. You like it? Easy peasy. Thanks for stopping by today. Thank you for being wonderful friend viewers. Remember, I call you guys my friends. And I'm just so grateful for being able to share with you what our family likes, what we do. And I'm so glad that you like it. So give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe if you haven't done so. And stick around. You just never know what I'll be rolling out next. Have a good evening. <laughs>